How often have we heard stories depicting the relationship between Mary and her children, many of whom would later become saints? When we hear of such encounters, it becomes difficult not to become uplifted by the incredible mercy Our Lady has for her children. This story about Our Lady of the Good Encounter shows us that we need only strive to become the best versions of ourselves, and she will love us from the start to the end of that journey. Stay tuned as I share with you the most incredible story of Our Lady of the Good Encounter. Howdy and welcome to America Needs Fatima. My name is Adrian Fonseca and make sure to hit subscribe and click the notification bell to never miss out on another story of Mary. Oh, and comment down below to share your thoughts on today's topic. This question, how could I, a person of no importance, ever hope to have a supernatural relationship with the queen of heaven and earth? This is a question that may have occurred to you. At least it has occurred to me. And this is where the true greatness of Mary is shown. The relationship between Our Lady and Benoit has provided us with one of the best examples of the kind of relationship you could have with Mary, our mother. In retelling the story, prominent Catholic thinker Plinio Correa de Oliveira says Our Lady first appeared to her Benoit in the spring of 1664, for the first time when she was 17. Benoit spoke to her, but the Virgin only responded after many more apparitions. A kind of supernatural friendship developed between the two and lasted until the end of Benoit's life. Right away, we can tell that this isn't the normal way a mother acts with her child. Many times Our Lady would appear to her children and she would begin to speaking to them immediately, or at the very least let them know who she was. But with Benoit this was not necessary. What exactly the Blessed Virgin wished to achieve through her dialogues with the seer is not clear. There was no special message. However, Our Lady treated her with great intimacy, holding her hand frequently and offering her the edge of her robe as a place upon which the young woman might rest. Benoit never lost her simplicity. On one occasion, Our Lady asked the shepherdess to give a beautiful ram and favorite goat to her. The ram, beautiful lady, I will give you. I will discount it from the pay. But the goat, no, I would miss her. Even if you offered me 30 liveries for her, I would not give her away. This in and of itself is a prime example of the motherly role that Our Lady so easily assumes. Just as Mary singled out the three children at Fatima, communicated with them, and informed them of the future, she had an equally special relationship with Benoit. Her message was simple, I am the mother of God, and your mother, ask and you shall receive. Now you don't have to be a poor shepherd or shepherdess to have a close relationship with Our Lady, but we should try to emulate those virtues acquired by those favored by Our Lady like Benoit and the children at Fatima, namely a childlike trust in the great yet elusive virtue of humility the foundation of all virtues, and the surest path to heaven. Benoit lived for 71 years, fully dedicating herself to the Blessed Virgin. She experienced continuous visions, prayed uninterruptedly, and practiced severe penances. She converted many people with her gift of miracles and the ability to see another's conscience. Our Lady comforted her daughter amid so many sufferings in an extraordinarily supernatural fashion. Benoit had the whole heavenly court keep her company as represented by the saints and the angels. Our Lady wanted to make known the experience of Benoit as an example of all she will give us if we know how to ask. We should take this opportunity to ask ourselves, what is it that we can do for Our Lady? What can we give her that she does not already have? Well, the answer is simple, our free will. Let's ask her to give us the grace to give of ourselves unconditionally to her. And now I'd like to ask you to turn your attention to a matter that urgently needs your support. Help us to spread the Fatima message by becoming a child of Mary today. With a modest monthly donation to a &F, you will partner with us in spreading this message far and wide, winning the heart and soul of America for Our Lady. Make sure you come back for next week's episode where we will be discussing the miracle of the Eucharist, an astounding and true story, reminding us that when heavenly power is involved, not everything is what it seems, and incredible things occur in the most unlikely of places. Thank you for watching, everyone. May God bless you and Mary Immaculate keep you under her mantle. God love you.
Thanks for watching. To save souls, there needs to be more Fatima focused content on YouTube. If you agree and you want to help me make more videos, please join our special Child of Mary group. As a Child of Mary, you'll get a beautiful Fatima pin, plus inspiring reports on America Needs Fatima work to save souls. Click the link in the description below to learn more and become a Child of Mary. God love you.